Alicia from My Work Basket. Um, today I'm just going to do a quick, quick video to show you how to knit in the stitch below. Um, it sounds like it's a scary thing to do, and when you first try it, you might be a little nervous. Um, but I just want to show you, I do have a pattern coming up that uses this stitch, and it's just easy, and I don't want the term to scare you off from the pattern. Um, as you can see, I just have a quick little swatch on my needle. Um, this is the Denise Interchangeable Set. I love my Denise needles. I also use the crochet hooks. And I just tend to make mine as one circular most of the time instead of using two separate ones. Um, so what you're going to do for this particular pattern is I'm going to knit the first one. Different patterns will have you do it different ways. Now usually you'd go in up here. Um, I do knit Continental. Um, it's worth noting. But instead of going here in the loop that's on the needle, what you're going to do is go down here in the loop below. I'll spread it out a little bit for you to see it. You're going to go through here, yarn over, and pull both of those off. And again, it looks a little bit scary, um, but that is in fact what you're supposed to do. I'm going to knit the next one, and then I'm going to show you again. So instead of going through up here, I'm going to go through this big open hole in the stitch below. And then in my pattern, you knit the next one. Um, some patterns you may purl some and knit through. Um, so again, here you go. You can just spread it out. You could see that stitch, you stick your needle through there and knit right into that stitch below. So it's nothing to be afraid of as long as you're careful to get your needle in the loop. Now you don't want to go over here, you don't want to go over here. You really just want to spread it out and make sure that you get right in between that stitch. And that's how you do knit one in the stitch below. Nothing to be afraid of and I hope that if you use it for my pattern you enjoy it. 